Hey guys, we are going to divide a mixed number by a fraction, okay? But the first thing I want to do is actually change this from a mixed number to an improper fraction, okay? It's just a lot easier to work with. So to do that, I will link a video in the corner if you need some more examples, but I'm also going to do it right here. We take our denominator and multiply it by the big number here, okay? So 3 times 6 gives me 18, and then we add the numerator. So 18 plus 2 gives me 20. Okay, so that is my new numerator. And my denominator is still 3. Okay, this other guy gets to stay the same. Okay, so now we have 20 thirds divided by 5 sixths. Guys, sixths is really hard to say. Just don't make fun of me as I try to say it. Okay, all right, so when we divide fractions, okay? We actually take our second fraction and flip it. The fancy math term for that is reciprocal. And then we multiply. What? I know, let me show you. So we've got 20 thirds. And then we're gonna flip this guy. Then I won't have to say sixths anymore. Yay, it's six fifths now, which is not much easier to say. Okay, so we flip the second one and we multiply. Okay, look at that. Now, if you're like, I don't believe you, I will link a video in the corner where I show an example of this that might help it make a little more sense why we can do that, okay? All right, now, there are two ways I could solve this, okay? We're gonna do these cute little arrows, all right? The first way is to multiply and then simplify, okay? So when I do that, I multiply straight across, okay? So 20 times six gives me 120, okay? And three times five gives me 15. Okay, when I simplify that down, I get eight, okay? Which is very nice. We don't always get a nice even number like that, okay? All right, the other way is if you looked at this, and it's good to get into this habit, but if you didn't notice, that's totally okay. It's good to get into the habit of noticing, oh, 5 and 20 can um, simplify with each other, and 3 and 6 can simplify with each other, right? Um, this is just when we're multiplying, okay? So I notice, okay, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 20 four times, okay? And then I notice, oh, 3 goes into 3 once, and it goes into 6 two times, now, if you were like, what the crap did she just do? Don't worry, just do it like this. And this way will probably make sense in the future, okay? So same thing, then the bottoms are just one. Top four times two gives me eight, okay? All right, that did not go where my arrow was pointing. There we go, okay. <laughs> All right, so six and two thirds divided by five sixths gives me eight. Hopefully that made sense, thanks, bye.